Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the black Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Bonnet starting as the yellow Protoss. This is Fighting Spirit because it is Fighting Spirit Mania. The series is tied up 2 2 thus far in set one. I guarantee I'm not going to cast every single one of these games. <laughs> so maybe I can uh, cheat and figure out who wins a particular game and be like, whoever wins this ended up winning this series overall. I don't know. Cross map positions, which leads me to believe it is possible we'll see more of a macro oriented game, but knowing. I really feel like whenever Bonneth is in the match, because of how aggressive he plays, either he wants to go for something like Dark Templar, or he's going to get Reavers right in your face at the natural expansion. It is very rare to. I, I can't remember the last time I've seen Bonneth play a, okay, I'm going to sit back in two gate and let you come at me macro style. DeWalt plays much more comfortably out of that style. So, usually I feel like matches going into a late macro match means there was some intense opener where Bonneth was fought back and still ended up at an even position in the mid game. That's usually how PvPs with Bonneth go. Either he wins very rapidly around the 10 11 minute mark with Reaver pressure outside the natural, ends up being repelled there and like counterattacked sometimes. Or, yeah, you get that big mid-game reset. Looks like he's going to scout up right-hand corner first. Off the 11 pylon. Looks like he is going to open up double gate, which is unfortunate because this is at cross positions. Although it might end up being fortunate because DeWalt's going to have a later scouting pattern on him at cross positions both directions. We'll see. Unless he goes for a cross scout, which I don't know. It's possible. Looks like he's scouting the middle of the map momentarily and going for a clockwise scout. No, is he going for a cross map scout? He is going for a cross map, map scout. So luckily, so DeWalt going to get the lucky first scout off on the double gateway. Bonneth going to be able to, with that timing of that, get that probe inside the base. But now, yeah, wandering in, seeing the double gate. And this is now not the best situation for Bonneth overall. So cross map position. Simulator's up. Cybernetics core is coming online. I don't know. So there's the first zealot that can chase down that probe. I don't think DeWalt even needs to build a second zealot to repel this attack. I think he can go straight to Dragoon. It looks like he is opting to Dragoon at cross map position. So things not working out for Bonneth. He's okay. Bonneth responding immediately by grabbing that gas. Is still going to send out the three zealots. Ah, uh, DeWalt. Offering up the probe to delay the zealots a little bit. Losing it. Range upgrading. So now let's see if Bonneth can push his way up. So I believe if with uh, so just a zealot on the ramp. Sometimes there'll be a probe pull to just guarantee it. But second Dragoon on the way. I think it'll be right about here. So it'll be a couple seconds when the zealots get there. But we're not going to find out either way. It looks like the Dragoon was walking forward to maybe get some free zealot damage. And Bonneth not even going to offer that up. So he's going to just go ahead and exit, get his own cybernetic score up. DeWalt finding nothing, retreating to his home base. Second Dragoon now being built range along the way. And third pylon is going interior to the base here for Bonneth. Zealot's holding the ramp stalwartly. The Dragoon can get some free fire for a bit of time. Needs to be careful with the micro. Yeah, getting some damage. Let's see if he can get any base damage. That'll be the key bit, because otherwise the shields regenerate oftentimes before the fights even happen. So a little bit of trade. Now the two Dragoons are out. DeWalt needs to be careful that he doesn't end up get with base damage right there. DeWalt looks like he wants to go for one gate into expand with that follow-up. Going ahead and setting up to do so. Bonneth overextending a little bit with his two Dragoons, taking a little bit of fire. And has snuck out a probe, though. This is something Bonneth is excellent at, is sneaking out scouts, and that will allow him... So let's see if DeWalt recognizes it. He's going to go ahead. No, not sneaking out. Well, maybe. He's backing up. He's got three Dragoons on the field. If he can get back to this location before the probe gets there, might be able to deny the, the Nexus scout. Second Dragoon, or sorry, 4th Dragoon overall, 2nd Dragoon 
on the ramp holding here. So this is actually going to be a pretty critical moment. So we'll check Bonnet's vision. Checking the corner, not able to get a good look at the natural expansion to see what's going on. Two more gateways tacked on. Range upgrading, robotic support bay, off two gate robo, and a shuttle along the way for Bonnet. I think gauging up for that characteristic attack. Nexus just about coming online. Still no movement towards the robotic facility here for DeWalt. So DeWalt's just going to go for... So he's got the three-gate Nexus. Tacking on yet a, a fourth gateway. And is going to stay tech light. Weaver in production. Now a critical bit for DeWalt and his defense is potentially peeling out a handful of Dragoons. So they can get behind a concentrated attack force and attack that shuttle from two directions. But overall, he's going to have a much stronger gateway count, or I should say troop count, off the superior amount of gateways. So it's really going to be up to Bonneth to equalize things with that Reaver. Marching down to his low ground, still keeping two Dragoons. DeWalt's going to have to get out of dodge rapidly. But using that to try to gauge the timing, supply count's dead even. Worker count just about even here as well. So DeWalt backing out, taking some base damage on one Dragoon, going to exit them. And yeah, here's here's that key moment. And he is walking out to go ahead and engage this army. Reaver in the shuttle in that back corner. Engagement point is going to be huge here. And let's see if DeWalt does that split. No, he's going to keep them as a concentrated force, leave this natural expansion... Somewhat open, now engaging. Reaver not yet part of the fight. Shuttle's been spotted, gets one shot. Able to do damage to two of the Dragoons. The Zelts, however, in larger numbers, chasing down. They're dying, I'm not going to say for free, but they're getting wiped out before that Reaver is able to really get shots off. So now the Dragoons pressing down to the south, drawing the troops this direction to allow reinforcements to build. Actually retreating up to the high ground as well. Bonneth regrouping, making a second charge. Dwalt has a second attack force of near equivalent size now, though, after some of that delay attack. And now, yeah, we, now we have that split where you can come in from behind and engage from two directions. Weaver working on these back Dragoons. And it looks like it just barely is going to be able to get out. But Bonneth, with that attack, not really able to get a lot accomplished. The Observer going to be able to wander forward. Is going to be able to confirm the gateway count off of this. Robotic facility now online. A fifth gateway attacking on as well. As well as a forge and an observatory. Bonneth, his natural expansion nexus, slowly coming online. But with his two gateways, he does not have the raw troop count. Maybe with the second Reaver, he can make this happen. But he's going to have a lot of trouble defending against DeWalt here. DeWalt... Eating some free shots there as he engaged, peeked over the ramp, didn't like what he saw, and backed right back out. Fanning those Dragoons before the re-engagement. Reaver on the low ground, taking a lot of shots. Shuttle down. Reaver exposed. It's gone. And now, we've got seven Dragoons making their way towards the natural. One Reaver and three Dragoons on the defense. This is defendable. I don't see any reinforcements making their way across, so DeWalt, yeah, just going to go ahead and back out with this, but the supply counts tell the story here. 74 versus 53. Bit of a supply block right there for DeWalt. See if he can get some additional pylons online. The Observer picked off on the front, so now with that and plus one weapon cycling, he's got an Observer of his own. He's got basically equivalent tech. Might be a little bit behind... See if we can tack that. There's plus one weapons there. Actually, it looks like plus one weapons. About dead even. Dwalt ahead. About 17 supply. Worker count somehow just about even. So Dwalt cutting probes here and there. To filter in a larger troop count. One Reaver on the defense. He has one Dragoon stationed on the high ground. But DeWalt wants to take another shot at this natural. He's got a, a full control group of Dragoons to do it. 
two Reavers here. That is going to back DeWalt out. But with this many troops at the natural, even with these two Reavers defending, what he might thinking about doing is going ahead. It looks like he's already got a pylon. Yeah, might just go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock location. Bonnet still well behind. Just tacking on his fourth gateway versus the six that are already online for DeWalt. So not even though he has that natural expansion up, isn't going to be able to pump the troop count to keep up with DeWalt, at least for a sizable bit of time. So he's going to upgrade Scarab damage in between to try to make that the equalizer. And DeWalt not making any motions to go ahead and grab. So he is sending out a probe. Let's see if he goes for that third base. Backing out now. A seventh gateway, eighth gateway. But no movement towards Reaver. He's got that Templar Archives online. Bonneth snuck out a probe somehow. And is he just going to go for a straight up third at the six o'clock? Wouldn't be able to defend it. DeWalt going to try to go for a sneaky expansion, potentially, in the upper right. Either that, or he just wants to make sure that Bonneth hasn't snuck an expansion somewhere on him. So he's just placing pylons out on the field. That actually might be the better explanation here. Reaver is now within that cozy space of the shuttle. Keep in mind, they do have that Scarab damage upgrade momentarily. And that could be... Something that could be a big factor in upcoming fights. DeWalt playing basically Gateway Man at this stage. Going to try to try to use a raw, larger count. Cannon, just in case. Observer taking a little bit of fire towards the north. Bonneth now going to try to find exposed troops. Is able to take out DeWalt's Observer. But starting to sneak out. Despite being down 20 supply with that Scarab damage upgrade. Wants to go ahead. Sneak through, get some damage done. Two High Templar at forward position. Is Psystorm finished? Psystorm, uh, some ticks from finishing. Bonneth pressing up, making sure DeWalt did not take that third. Well, actually in the red momentarily, which might give some space for Bonneth to catch up in the supply count. Dwalt, in the meantime, is confirmed. There's no additional expansion. Diving in. Dark Templar in there as well. There is an Observer to spot it. Big explosions taking out a lot of Dragoons on the front. High Templar now moving in. Great size storms. Reavers have been taken out. And it looks like, yeah, Dwalt just has too many troops left over. The size storms... Catching those Reavers. Well, actually, the Reavers just getting caught wholesale and the Dragoons getting caught by that size storm. Ending the fight rapidly. Let's go ahead and... See if we can speed up and re-watch uh, the final fight in slow motion. Bonnet swing forward. So here is about a 13 supply difference. I think... The majority of that is in Dragoons. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got one Dark Templar, two High Templar, both of which have Psy Storm ready. This looks like a control group and a half and a full control group of Zealots. Plus two, plus three. Bonneth getting caught out of position. So here, yeah, just getting swarmed, cut off. We have a handful of reinforcements Looking to cut across this way. So the Reavers... Yeah, able focusing a Zealot initially with those shots. Some big hits here. So right here... Still a superior amount of Dragoons out. But I think this is like... Yeah, once that was taken out... Southern Dragoons able to take out the Reavers. Psystorm on the reinforcements. Yeah, the Reavers gone. Didn't have space to uh, engage. There's GG. So DeWalt going to sneak ahead in the series. One more game and he will win the set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.